going to the recording studio and I saw this one musician and I just thought, wow, this guy's unbelievable. All of a sudden I just had this epiphany. The best music I ever heard in my life is on the way to the studio and not in the studio. And that's when I sort of had the idea for playing for change, which was to bring the studio to the people. What amazing stories. Grandpa Elliot, he's been a street musician in New Orleans performing for about 60 years. I, I just was in love with him. I just thought his whole energy was the best. It had a lot more depth. It wasn't just entertainment. All my life, I've been putting out love. And then I wanted to make it more special than just individual performances. So have musicians from different locations play on the same songs. Stand By Me, I recorded and filmed in about 10 different countries. 60 million people watching that has an impact. Oh man, I, I was so excited. <laughs> it's a global project, reaching a global audience with no filter. That's playing for change to YouTube, to the audience. So when we were recording Stand By Me, we drove out from Cape Town through all the shacks into Gugaletu Township, one of the saddest places I'd ever seen. It just had so much despair. The next thing I know, they set up and they perform this music in the backyard and the women and the little kids come out and they're singing and dancing. And you see this celebration, you know? This is the most powerful thing I'd ever seen. It went from so sad to so happy and the only thing that changed was the music. So that is the exact same spot of the first Playing for Change music school. Each of our music schools are designed by the community and they're owned and operated by the community. for the first time to see the school. It's a dream that come true. So it's really just about creating opportunities where there aren't any. So then we had the idea to do a fundraiser for the very first Playing for Change music school. So we assembled a lot of the different musicians we'd met, some of the best musicians from all over the world, brought them together, and that became the beginning of the Playing for Change band. They've now toured the world for five years. It's been able to build where a lot of people want to be involved and be a part of it. Keith Richards, Robert Plant, Bono. On our newest album, we have Sarah Bareilles. I think that's the great thing about Playing for Change is that it never ends because there's always more songs to record. There's always more musicians to connect. And there's always more schools to build. They all work together for the same picture, which is really connect the world through music. Yeah!